What's up guys, welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I'm your host, Big Logan. So today we're doing episode three of the build series on Peggy here. She's a Ram Pro Master 159 high roof. We're converting it into an adventure van. So on today's episode, we're putting down some flooring. We're also doing some nice carpet trim here between the uh, seats. Um, and we're also doing them around by the bed area in the back. So stay tuned for that and more on this episode. Let's get number three started. Woo! So today's goal is to trim out where I previously removed a partition. And I was debating whether I was gonna vlog this or not, but I think I do wanna share it with you guys because I want to give a nice tutorial on how to trim this out in case some of you find the right van, but it may have the partition um, and you don't wish to keep it on there or cut a hole for access. If you want the open concept like we did, um, we didn't let the partition get in our way. We found the right van at the right price. What we're left with is all this open area. You can see the side airbags. We definitely need to protect that um, from getting hit with anything. Bare metal or bare paint all the way down. So before I start on any more of the construction, fridge, chairs, um, and working my way back from the front, I wanna get this trimmed out and done. That way it's time to move back. Good start to the project. If you guys um, have seen episode one, I'll link it above. It introduces the design and layout that we're gonna go with on this fan project and uh, it'll get you right up to speed. So I'm gonna run uh, about a 3 8 inch plywood. So the reason I'm going with that 3 8 inch plywood versus say a thin quarter inch piece is so I can uh, staple into that. Um, I've got some boss stitch quarter inchers and a pneumatic stapler uh, came in the combo with my brad and finish nailer awesome buy black friday last year um so we're going to be stapling exterior interior carpet charcoal gray cheap uh carpet from lowe's could probably find it cheaper on amazon but i grabbed them because i could see the color get my hands on the texture it's actually got some nice like ridges and bumps to it so it should hide uh, some brad nails whenever i go to send this into the wood structure that we're gonna place in here. Leading into that, that gets us into step one of the uh, trim out. And that is gonna be to follow the same convention like we did in episode two, where we are um, counter boring and allowing self tappers to go right into the body of the van. I'm definitely gonna prep for the roof to trim out. So this will try and follow this line so I can tuck the roof right under that as well. It's gonna be a lot of cutting. I got the uh, isotherm fridge box I might use as a template. So let's get it started. Yeah, great day, great day. There she is, and there it goes. Can kind of still see a gap here, which I'm not crazy about. So yeah, I need to figure something out here. To be continued. <laughs> so I made a little, uh, just trace this piece here, made like a one incher to go right along with it. So if I hold that here, I still have room for a furring strip behind this to tack to. Um, this will get glued down and covered in carpet. And then when this goes on with the gap, you see how that gets closed nice and tight. Let me get my big head out of the way here. This is gonna clean up really nice. Did you bring some cold daddies? Ice cold water. Oh yeah. Beamer's gonna come over and try and give me a hand. We'll see if we can get any work out of him today. Caleb's idea of the partition. <laughs> <laughs> We're gluing this little lip on, just letting it dry, just hanging out. 
watching glue dry almost funner than watching paint dry good morning good morning it's another day here we're back at it again once caleb came over we didn't get much work done so we went to the pool yesterday it's gonna be another scorcher today so you can see that transition there is looking right my friend so i'm gonna get set up to do a bunch of uh back and forth iterations to cut out a cardboard template for the top piece make sure these line up good let's get after it folks update all right so here is the upper uh, trim out piece and I cut another sliver here and I have one more traced out I got to cut still I'm gonna glue two of these down to give it a nice thicker lip glue these down trim anything else away once it's bonded real good I think we're good and we'll get started on the final fitment this is the uh, top board uh, furring strip that's gonna go above captain's chair passenger chair above the head I got this all chopped down to size, had to do some angle cuts with the circular saw, counterboard for three self tappers, and this is the charcoal gray trim out carpet that we're going to work with. This stuff stretches really nicely, so it's going to help round turns and stuff. So this is board one, it's just a structural board. The reason I'm doing this is because you see the bottom of this when you look back if you're sitting um, driver passenger looking back you'll see this piece of two by two so got to wrap this too as well it'll tie in really nice so let's staple it so we got the uh, structural furs in here I'm actually just using some more plywood so it's nice and thin um, down both sides there Two more to come up top here to hold this top portion in. So back here, and then I'll probably carpet and trim a piece here because you kind of see that right when you walk in. That's what you see there on that structural fur here. So everything's coming along. There we go. Let's rock. So we got the uh, the three pieces, the main pieces carpeted, but when we finish out here, I want to cover up this structural piece. And I'm cutting out a little cardboard template here just to hide the rest of this bare metal from the van. So a little cardboard template here uh, that I can pop in a couple nails there and hold it and carpet it.
go, time to install. Let me just size this up real quick, babe. You wanna bring those in? Feel like pretty good. Oh, yeah. here, down over here. Yeah, that looks perfect. All right, here we go. So got the trim all in up front, starting to do the same concept with carpeted paneling on the back upper door panel here. So got this all prepped tonight. It's about to storm bad. I got the Havelock wool insulation behind both of these. And then again, same convention, self tappers, liquid nails, some pocket screws and furring strips. This is super solid going to take on a lot of door slams. So I really wanted to take my time and make sure these are looking right. But the uh, carpeted paneling is coming up next whenever I get to those. Not sure when I will, but it'll be coming up right now. Boom, just like that, we're back. I told you. All right, so I got cardboard over here. Another template. I've got the door already lined out this afternoon with my limits of the ceiling edges where it hits the seal, loads the seal. Uh, so I want to stay clear of that. Cardboard template for the left door is done. Right side's done, left side's done. Compressor's fired up really loud. Um, I'm using quarter inch, just cheap Luon here. It kind of swoops up actually pretty aggressively about two and a half inches from top to, I'm calling this the bottom of our panel here. So. It swoops in pretty good, so quarter inches of substrate. This work, again, is to have brad and or finish nails go into all this and leave a super clean finish. There's not even a single black screw head. Oh, I don't have to yell anymore. There's not even a single black screw head or any type of hardware showing through the carpet. Those brad nails tuck right in. Actually, they dig into the plywood. They go right through the carpet and countersink into the plywood a little bit. So it's a lot of extra effort. I understand I might get comments on this. Why don't you just self tapper right into here or pre-drill and use a black um, sheet metal screw. Trying to go clean, baby. It's exterior carpet, should rinse off pretty good. Let's get to stapling on the carpet. Get got the wool in, have a lock wool. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. This is straight from the farm. Um, I cracked the bag in the garage, it still smells like it's gonna smell like this for a couple months. Get some of the crusties off of it. You can't see a single nail. I could see slightly if you stare at them hard enough, but once this carpet breaks in, yeah. And 
it curls a little bit and you can't see behind it too much. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I'm gonna do the other side, checking when that one's done. I don't know if you're focused in and knock some of these in further, but I mean, once this gets broken in just a little bit, it should really just come together. And it's already nice and dampened and quiet from that Havelock wool behind there. The kill mat's in there too for rattling. And now we have carpet right at our heads by the bed. Should be a nice little cozy spot when the doors are shut. And this will be a nice back wall for the external shower. I have that one horizontal in each door. That'll be a perfect mounting plate to put the shower faucet uh, mounting bracket. So, guys, really appreciate it. We're gonna get onto the flooring next. The flooring's in. Here's the flooring of choice. It's kind of a floating laminate, broken up with a little bit of texture, and it's already got the pre-installed floating foam on the bottom. So nice, soft cushion. Another layer of insulation with that foam that's coming up next. Here she is going in, looking great. Let's get to it. Just like that, the floor is in, y'all. Looking great. Really nice broken up pattern. I like the range in colors. Covering sawdust, more sawdust. Hey, update now. Boxing in this with more carpet. Oh yeah, I got this uh, nice bronze flashing down over the laminate and the subfloor. Ooh, I gotta wipe this. Uh, put a little more liquid nails on it there. A lot of detail cuts here. But this is how we're gonna trim out. The middle piece here is removable in case a few pump ever needs to be serviced, but not planning on any failure there, so that's gonna get tacked down. The fourth piece comes right under here. If you guys have been watching this episode, you know what's coming next. Time to staple in the carpeting, get this nice silky smooth finish. Love it. Here we go. Get all these three to work together. All right guys, and there you have it. All boxed out with carpet, looking nice and clean. Removable center access panel. If we ever have to get to the fuel pump, man, I really hope we don't have to do that anytime soon. But hey guys, we're gonna call it a wrap today. Episode three of the Peggy Van Transformation coming at you live, man. Hey, if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the Big Logan channel. We'd like to see you guys follow along as we completely convert this van into an adventure van. So thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you on the next build. Peace.